Hello, this is a how to video with Come Through an S Girl. And it's real easy. I've done this a lot of times. My hair is not naturally curly. It's it's like that. It's not bad. But I use this and it makes my hair smooth and really nice. It comes with a little pink lotion, but I bought more because this is good. Good stuff, good stuff. That and this. Packs, shampoos, gels, and styling spray, and instructions. And in case you don't want to read the instructions, you can just watch this video. Okay, first. Um, oh, you need that. You get a Dollar General, Walmart. Anywhere like that. I use this to apply when when I'm doing it. Helpful this. Get Vaseline or petroleum jelly. And a comb and a mirror. Comb, because you have to comb it through when you're applying it. After you use the um brush. This so you can see the back of your head and make sure it's going right. First Another thing, um, I'm right-handed, and sometimes the right part of my um, face right here turns out better than the left, so just be careful not to do more on one side than, than the other. Well, I'm pretty... Okay, I had to pause <laughs> because I forgot. Use this. It, it, it hasn't burned me, but um, don't want to take too long. Put that on your edges. I mean, the pro it it burns a little bit, and this protects it. It's not bad. It's it hasn't burned yet, and I just put it on. Shiny. So. Okay. Now you can continue. And spread, spread, spread. Your way up. Another thing, sometimes it gets the way. Guys usually brush their hair at the top. You know, you can see the difference in where it goes. I don't know if my hair has it because I've been combing it the same way. But most guys usually end up combing their hair back, down, um, and then in the front forward. And it has that split. And when this is done, sometimes you can like definitely see a split. Try his best not to get it like on your skin. You don't want it to touch your skin. You're trying to get it just as close. I mean, if it touches your skin, it's not gonna kill you, but it might burn a little bit. You might have burn marks after. <laughs> That's not funny, but that is kind of funny. Oh, and um, don't have anything in your hair. A minimum of two days before you do this. So I haven't had any pink lotion or any hair gel or hair grease in my hair for two days. And I only condition my hair. I didn't use shampoo. And don't comb your hair before this. Because then that just opens up new places in your head. New um, like scabs or whatever. And you might get a cut of your hair. And then this product will go straight there and... It will burn, so do not do that. And do that again for. Okay, well, I almost used all of this. And I like to use, I use it as much as I can because, okay, that's done. So now, come through, start on my left. I start with the, always the thinner, the one that's closer to um together, and it come through. And when you do this, it's already coming off. Oh, crap! <laughs> Put that right back in, cause you can apply that once more to get the best stick right there. Because my hair is coming back from the last time I did it. And last time I did it was like 
over a month ago. So it it does last pretty it lasts pretty well. You don't really wash your hair every night. I use a do rag at night, and uh, I don't. After the first, like this first week of me putting it in, I won't wash my hair for like a week, like no water at all. Well, washing it wise. In the morning, you know, like we have a do rag, and then um, <laughs> my hair looks like ramen noodles. <laughs> but um, anyways, in the morning, I'll just keep a shower cap on. And when I get out the shower and get dressed and then come in to do my hair, I take some water in my hand and run it through my hair to um, make it soft again. And then after that, I use pink lotion or um, the hair gel, styling spray, whatever. Okay, now that it's back, you have more to use. And you see how that's like wider than there. So just go ahead and start all over. Don't get your hair cut before because when you do this, sometimes it works better in different parts of your hair. So some parts of your hair might be longer than the other. And I cut my own hair now and sometimes my dad cuts it too, but... I cut my own hair for the most part and do my edge. And it is best to do this before so your hair will be uneven wherever and then get a fresh haircut so you don't have to worry about any more unevenness. And I start and I'm gonna comb all in the same direction. I usually comb back, but yeah, you don't wanna comb some of this forward and some backwards. The box says that it give, it will not mess up, but like, You'll see it in the end where you combed forward and where you combed backwards, so that's not best. Okay, got the shampoo, cut split in it, and put that to the side. Just rinse this out first with warm water. Okay, so it's like halfway done, and it looks, if you see it in person, it looks really, it looks cool, but like, you don't want this as a finished product. So take half sorry, take half of the shampoo. Pour it out. Pour it, pour it out. Okay. Then put that evenly all over and scrub. Anyways, okay, finish. Got my hair cut, edge, showered, um, and everything cleaned up and dressed. And this is how it turned out. It looks really good. Oh, sorry, got a mark there. Turned out really good. Show it. So yeah, this is how it turns out. I like I like this. It's like so soft and nice. But yeah, so product works great and I hope this tutorial helped you a lot. So thumbs up and like and share and all that. Um, okay, if you're wondering, got the glasses from Claire's, got the necklace from Personally Made, it's acrylic necklace, okay, it's online website called, I got it, which one was it, CBT's, that's CBT'sCloset.com, and this necklace I've had it for a while, and it's strong, it's awesome, this necklace is really cool, but yeah, um, and the shirt is Bar 3, and they sell it at me.